So yeah, here I'm doing some groups with the rifle. On, I think on the last video, someone pointed out that the pellet was doing a little bit of wobbling. And there can be two things that can cause this. The most common issue for that is the, the barrel need a clean up. Or second, the, the pellets uh, are not shooting well in this uh, barrel. I noticed the JSB King doing that on this, uh, on this rifle. So what I'm trying to do is uh, just compare if after polishing the bottle, I will get a better accuracy and I will have to clean the bottle maybe once every three to four months. Let's see if I can do that. So that's exactly what we're gonna do in this video. I will show you how I will polish this bottle, so stay tuned and let's roll the tape. As I mentioned at the beginning, in this video, I'm gonna share with you how I polish the bottle. So you may wonder why polishing a bottle. So one of the theory behind doing a polishing on the bottle is that you will basically extend the period where you will need to clean the bottle. It is uh, mentioned that it will give you better accuracy. Some pellets that the gun was not shooting well after a polish, the gun will start shooting better, improving accuracy, and you know, it looks like a lot of good benefit and the procedure is not that complicated. The only thing is I couldn't find any video on YouTube on how to do it. So that's the reason I wanna share this with you. A quick disclaimer is that this is gonna be the first time I'm doing this. I'm not claiming to be an expert polishing any bottle, but I've read a lot of information on Ergon Nation, even when I couldn't find any video. Um, I think it's not difficult. And that's the reason I will try uh, the priest is shooting very well, but I noticed some of the hunting pellets that I like, like for example the Polymax, is not grouping well. So we will test after polishing if now we will get better groups with the Polymax or other hunting pellets. So that's the reason we're going to do. I think the benefits are huge if this is true. So we will, we will test and we will see together if it's true what we're going to get better accuracy or not. The first thing we're gonna go really quick is through the products that you will need to, to perform the, the polish. I will list all the products below in the description below so you guys don't have to guess through what to buy. All right, let's start going through all the products. So the first thing I will show is this product right here. It's a metal polish. And this is a one that will do the heavy lifting. I think if you cannot find any of the other product, just this is good enough so you can get a good polishing on the bottle. So I think this is the most important of the product that we will apply to actually polish the bottle. It's a raw light metal polish. The second product that we're gonna use as a chemical product is gonna be the JB Bore Cleaning Compound. This is the JB ball cleaning compound, very common in the forum discussion. Uh, well, I have the link in the description below also. The next product is a cleaning rod. So I'm gonna use this cleaning rod. Pay attention to the caliber. So there are two sizes, one from 177 and the other one, which is the one that I have for 22 and up. I say pay attention because the thread on the two rods are different and then I made a mistake. I ordered the one for 177 and then when I was trying to attach the mop, it didn't work. So this is the rod for 22, 25 and up. Oh, before I, before I go, one thing, so if you don't want to use this exact product, one thing to have in mind and it's really important is that find one that have a ball bearing on the handle. So this piece here have to rotate because when we are cleaning, we want the rod to follow the rifling on the, on the bottle. 
So that's the only uh, advice, the only tip that I will give you is, if you don't want to use this, find one that, that rotates. Next, we are going to use this is the bore and chamber mops from Typeton. So this is the one that we, we are going to actually use to put the product inside the, the bottle and do the, the polishing. This comes with three, each of these. I recommend you buy a few because we're probably going to use more than one of these. So for example, I have four, I bought four of these. And each of these have three, as I said before, so I have 12, 12 cleaning mop. The next product that I really recommend you buy, this is not mandatory because you may have like a piece of wood or something, but I really recommend this uh, 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 vice jaws. These are gonna protect the, the bottle from scratching. So the idea is I mount this on the, on the vise and the bottle will go in between them because it's like a very hard rubbery material like plastic they, there's not gonna cause any scratch again you may have something different that you are using piece of wood something but well this is what I'm using if you want to know this uh, plastic vice yours and the next thing the list is not really one pro this uh, whatever you use to do a, a bottle cleanup so in my case, I'm using just Ballistol. And the system that I like is the Crown Saber. I really like this. Uh, why we need this? Because we're gonna start doing a good cleanup on this bottle before we start polishing. We want the bottle to be super clean before we start applying any product. So yeah, whatever you have for cleaning the bottle. Again, I'm using the Crown Saber. And this one I got from, from Ken Hick. He's the one that have this uh, on, on his website. I was searching for it, I couldn't find any place, but yes, I got this from Ken's. All right, here I have the RTI Priest 2 bottle. Uh, the first thing that we're gonna do now is go ahead and do a very good cleaning on this. So let's go into my garage and let's start the polishing. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is uh, do a good cleaning on the bottle. So this uh, just have magnet so this is really nice so it's very important to know the front part of the bottle because later when we do the polishing we will need to to be careful with the tip of the of the bottle so here and just clamping it very secure and now we're gonna do a cleaning using the the crown saver it's just giving it a good clean. Just gonna put a patch. We put a little bit of ballistol on the patch. Just gonna clean that bottle. So I will be doing this until I got a clean bottle before I start polishing. After we have done a very good cleaning on the bottle, the next thing is uh, gonna prepare the bottle so we're gonna start the polish. Pay attention to the front of the bottle. So here, this is the, this is the back of the bottle. This is the front of the bottle. Actually, I got it backwards. This is the back of the bottle. And this, where the thread is, is the front of this bottle. So what I'm saying, pay attention because during the polishing process, we don't want the mop to go out of the front of this bottle. We need to ensure that the mop will never exit this end. So for that, I have my vise put in here, and then when I'm clamping the bottle, I will just put the very end toward my wall. As you can see now, here, the very end of the bottle is protected with the with the wall. We're gonna take one of the mop that we have and we're gonna attach it to our cleaning rod. Just screw it. So how we're gonna do, just put a little amount of the metal polishing on the, on the mop. You can do it with your fingers. Just put a little bit of amount, don't put a lot. So now 
we're gonna start the polishing process. So how we're gonna do the first time we put it into the, the bottle, do a full until you hit the wall. Then come back and I start now back and forth couple of time probably moving around maybe three inches two inches then move another one so I'm doing like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then I'm moving a little bit and then let's see what happened here so you can see the polishing being applied. You see how the metal is, is coming. This is not, I don't know if I can show you that, but this is not as clean as it was before. Put another little bit on the mop and repeat. So this is gonna be a long process. So when you do this, take the, the rope by the handle. So remember that I rotate. So just back and forth, back and forth. You have to be patient. So I will be doing this probably for the next 10 minutes. So I will see you later. I just uh, want to show you the second patch. Then go back in. And then I will do some long, easy stroke like this. I don't know if you can see how is removing some material. So what I will do is I will use three of the mops, then I will I will hit it with three with the JB cleaning compound. So I'm using three mops but doing probably between 50 and 60 strokes. So I will probably speed up this one so you can see on the camera what's happening. There you go, you can see how it's coming out. What you see there is metal. It's not, this is no dirt of any kind. The bottle was super clean when I started doing this. So one thing they say is a, is a good idea, I didn't did this, was before you start, you push a pellet. So you feel how rough it is. I miss that. So probably it would be a good idea because I'm feeling now why I'm saying that? Because I'm feeling now that the 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 rod go really easy, so probably it have some polish already. All right, this is what I will do next. I will I will do a quick uh, cleaning with ballistol, and and then I will put the JB compound. Let's do that. All right, I will take one of the mops. I will put ballistol just to do a clean. Let's do another pass, but this time with ballistol. So let's go back and forth with the ballistol so, to do a good clean and remove that metal polish. There you go. So you see, it's coming dirt. I will use now a dry mop. This is just common sense, right? You you want to clean and have it as free as material as possible before you start putting another product inside. So this is just to clean and to remove that ballistol that we added initially. Yeah, the how is still coming with with material. So we go with another dry. Oh yeah, and this one is coming pretty much clean. So let's uh, move ahead and do the JB cleaning compound. All right, here we have the JB bore cleaning compound. So the idea is that this will a also do a good cleaning on top of the polish we used it. 
So similarly, we're gonna just apply the product into the mop just a little bit, and let's just do it. So here you can use similar technique to what we use for polishing. Just move it back and forth, small, until you hit, then you start backing up, little by little. All right, I will be doing this with the JB probably with three, three more mops until I'm pretty sure it's all clean. All right, I will do that off camera. All right, this is the end of the second mop and you see how dirt is coming out again not dirt this is the JB doing the work all right I will go ahead and do the last here I'm not gonna add a lot so on this last one just gonna go almost dry I will be doing this for a little bit remember the idea is to polish so you have to be patient all right, now finally, I'm gonna go again with just ballast tool. I only have three of the mop left. So I recommend if you wanna buy minimum four, but probably you need to buy more, depending on how, how much you want to, to clean the, the, the bottle. So. so yeah, now what I will do is just put a dry one here, see what is coming back. So not a lot of product. I will put down ballast tool, and then I will follow up with a with a very good clean with my crown saver, and that's gonna be everything. gonna do now is uh, I will shoot a magazine this is one of my custom magazine this is in 25 caliber it holds 15 pellets so what I did on this magazine is I put five pellets that are polymax the first five shots I'm gonna do I'm gonna be five polymax next five shots are gonna be the Hades and the last five shots are gonna be the JSB King 25 grain which is the one that I was using before and was grouping well so I had a target at around 35, 34 yards. And let's go ahead and do the group and compare if we're getting better at grouping. I remember the Polymax were not grouping before. So let's go ahead and do that. No season in the bottle, nothing. So this is just, uh, I said it's, I haven't shot the Polymax, so I have no idea how they will group. I think the Polymax are back in the game. That's a very nice group. Let's do, now the Hades. I will shoot the, the target that I put on top. Let's do five shots with the Hades. On the Hades, I think I put one shot, but I think I did a really nice group. All right, let's do the last five shots on the left target, and these are gonna be the JSB 25 grains. And that's all. I think all the pellets that I shot, they group really nice. All right, let's wrap up. 
Well, I think the polishing of the bottle was a success. I remember that I did a group with the Polymax. Let's see if I can find the group and share it with you. But it was, I wasn't happy with that group. Today, at least with the first five shots that I did, it grew perfect. So only time will tell if uh, it's true that I don't have to clean the bottle that often. But the process I highly recommend to everybody, give it a try. It's not that difficult probably in a half an hour, one hour time period that you put aside, uh, you can complete. I will tell you I've been recording this video for the last three weeks. So if you enjoyed, please, I will ask you like smash the like button just to see if we force YouTube to help promoting the channel. All right, everybody, that's everything. I really hope you find this useful. And as always, be safe and see you on the next one. Bye.